What's up everybody and welcome for the very first time to Garrett Lewis The Next Chapter which is my brand spanking new YouTube channel in follow up to my YouTube channel that I've been running for nearly 10 years and here we are now with my first ever video. Today I'm going to be talking about how I appeared on the BBC twice and also as a discretion to let you guys know this is my very first story time video for YouTube something that I've never done before in my nine years of YouTube experience and I thought I might share that with you guys today in 2019 we uh, on BBC One aired the Antiques Roadshow and um, we'll get to the part where I appeared in a bit in a little bit, but I'll um, give you some details of what happened during recording. It was the summer of 2018, the 26th of July 2018, they were filming in the Erdig Hall, which was somewhere in Wales. I saw something on social media about the Antique Throw Show were going to be filming there. Fiona Bruce was obviously the um, host for the Antique Throw Show at the time, and I believe she's still um, hosting the show because anti Treasure have been going on for like nearly 40 years now. Yeah, they were filming in the uh, big hall and I thought I'd take a good glan a glance at um, the Antiques Roadshow being filmed in the Erdig. Also, I've never been, I never went to the Erdig in my life of that day. So, um, on that morning I booked a taxi to get to the Erdig Hall so I can watch the show being recorded in, ac in action. What I was doing when, I, when it was being filmed, and uh, being filmed, well, I was exploring the, um, Erdig Hall, and I tried to get my face on camera, see if I could like get, <laughs> see if I could get a good view of my face on screen, seeing as I've never had that feeling before, and <laughs> it was so much fun, I'm telling you. They were like, selling different items, I appeared in four different ones. I'll have you know that the anti Show aired the same location twice, that is two episodes per season, so this was basically series 41 of um, the Antiques Roadshow. That was being filmed on the 26th of July 2018. The first one aired on the um, 11th of January 2019, I think. I don't have any clips on there, unfortunately, because I couldn't get any videos in time. But I might actually show you a couple of shots. As you can see there, I actually got my face in a couple shots. I was like snooping around in the camera, having a look what was being sold, and um, as the seller was talking about the item and their stories, I thought I'd get a piece of the action by having a look through, but I wouldn't want to intrude their selling <laughs> selling process, but it was so fun, not so much fun, I tell you. And then I appeared again when they were selling the ring from the, which was um Follow, which followed a um, sad story about the Titanic which sank back in 1912. That was like 110 years ago that it sunk now. Man, um, I never thought I'd be privileged to be on the air as of, the 11th, as of January 2019. And then the other episode, Erdig 2, aired again. That was the second Erdig episode that aired on the 13th of April 2019. It was just three months after the first one. And I got a good look at what was being sold. I even popped my face out there, again as you can see. And I was also in another shot where I believe, I think, um, and I put my face there again just to get myself a good view of the camera. But it also, like you know, like when, like when, when the um, when the camera is actually like um, pinned to the um, to the people who are selling things, and certain certain faces like get blurred out where I don't like where I don't like having a face shown. But I for one love having my face shown on camera. I've been doing YouTube for nearly ten years, guys. 10 years, and I never had the feeling of being on television. But I'm telling you, Fiona Bruce is one heck of a host when it comes to the Antiques Roadshow, I'm telling you that. That's one big thing I about it. I haven't got many clips of the Antiques Roadshow of um, 2019, but I did find one on the Wayback Archive some time ago, which is the second Irving, but it was actually signed, like, you know, um, like where you like sign from, like the, like the deaf people who don't know, um, they can't hear anything at all, which is kind of sad really. But I might actually show off those clips at some point soon, but I might have to mute the audio in case of copyright. That was the Antiques Roadshow. Now, um, as of nearly a month ago, I believe there was also another show that I was being featured in for like um, a couple seconds. That was back on the 20th of June 2022, just two days before my 24th birthday. They were filming X-Ray. If you um, don't know what X-Ray is, um, I don't know how to explain this as much, but it's like X it's like um, Watch Dogs, but in it's that they're dealing with um, problematic financial issues and stuff like that. Um, I was actually on the shot, but I wasn't being interviewed. I was actually um, having a bit of a conversation with the crew there, and I even shown a couple of them my Comic Con pictures. 
like the one I showed my picture off with Peyton List, despite the fact that I lost my chance in getting my photo opportunity, but I'm due to do that again in, um, next month, but I might explain that in another video. But, um, there was, um, there was this, um, there was one of the hosts I was talking to about my Comic-Con, um, pictures, and I showed him a picture of Peyton List. Her name was Molly. Um, she asked if I did cosplay, and I told her, yeah, I do, um, I do sometimes, and, um, there was, um, other girls too. There was Rhiannon, and there was another one, the host. Her name was, um, Bethany Davis, one of the, um, hosts of X-Ray. And Rachel, I believe, was, um, interviewing a couple of people over there, but um, when I um, first discovered that um, EXO was being filmed, I obviously kind of missed out on a couple of sections, but I was privileged to get the um, opportunity to get featured in other shots too. I even spent the remainder of the day um, watching them film up until 4pm, so that was a good two hours of my life in Eagles Meadow in Wrexham. Also, for participating, they um, they gave me this... Um, this... this cool x-ray pen uh, x-ray pen as you can see here I always tend to like use it quite a lot because why not it I um, actually love this pen so much I'd like to take a minute to play a cover play a one clip from x-ray where I appeared but um, quick discretion that I might want might have to mute the audio in case of copyright so um, sit back and enjoy this one clip of, um, of the x-ray that I was in And that was the clip of where I appeared on X-Ray. I've got two other shots from that. I was appeared in two other scenes of that um, episode. That was episode six of um, of X-Ray. That was being filmed in the Eagles Meadow in in, um, in Wrexham, obviously. Um, I'll get them up on screen now. All those four shots I captured when I looked on iPlayer. Excuse one of the pictures on there because of low quality. You can never tell a BBC iPlayer these days because um, sometimes the uh, first minute the quality is good, next minute the quality is bad. But you might be able to tell um, if you're good with um, good with fuzzy quality sometimes. Um, I'll also have you know that the episode that I appeared in, episode 6 of X-Ray, if you guys live in the UK, it's still on BBC iPlayer. It's available for two more weeks, so make the most of it if you can. But um, I'll come to a point now to when I actually appeared. So, um, there, was an there was a former employee of my dad who was a cop from 1989 up till 2017. Um, he, she like texted my dad and uh, well, while she was watching, well, I mean she was watching X-Ray at the time. She texted my dad and she was then, and she said, get, 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 get X-Ray on your screens, get it's on TV. And they thought, and they thought, what? Um, I didn't, what? Really? And then they like tuned in and then, and, and they were like, um, wow, I never, I, I, <laughs> they were left so speechless. And my mum texted me saying that she just saw me on TV. And then she sent the text over to my nan and, um, they saw me on television, and, and then she, my, my, my nan, and, nan and granddad saw me on television, and then my auntie saw me on television, and um, and um, around Sunday, um, I believe, that my nan, about uh, my mum, actually contacted my nine about my parents on television, and she also told my auntie Karis that she might um, take a look, at, she might take a look at the show because she hasn't had a chance to look at it. My auntie Karis hasn't because she's been working, obviously, but. Um, I believe it's gonna be a great, great um, run if they do see it. But I must say though, being on X-Ray, I've been absolutely privileged to do so. I've got a couple of shots from the two shows I appeared in in the last two years. I've got one here from the Antiques Roadshow when it was being filmed that I captured on Facebook um, a while ago. And I captured three pictures from when I was in X-Ray. You can see the um, shots from where the X-Ray tent was and there's also me with one in me me by the tent and there's me with the crew Bethany Molly and Rhiannon that was my story of how I appeared on the BBC twice and I thought to myself my god imagine what it would be like being on TV myself um, it'd be like a dream more than a reality so yeah I didn't think that I might make it onto the final cut on x-ray but I I was like I don't believe it and I saw it on <laughs> iPlayer. I was left so, so happy to discover that. Yeah. So that was my story of my um, 
my uh, appearances on the BBC. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little story. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my new channel, Gary Lewis, the next chapter. All that's in the description below. And um, if you want to see any more story times regarding part of my life, let me know. And I'll be happy to share with you some of my own stories, which I feel like I might do. Again, don't forget to subscribe to this, channel, to this new channel for some brand new content coming soon. And I've got a couple more coming this week, so stay tuned for that. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Later.